Afternoon, Andoni. Afternoon. Um, we'll start with the big news with regards to Richard Hughes's departure from the football club, someone who has been at the heartbeat of everything that has been positive for Bournemouth for in excess of 10 years, someone who was instrumental in bringing you to the football club. Can you just tell us a little bit about what it was like receiving that news and, and how much of a loss he'll be? Uh, obviously, for me, it's a, it's, a, it's a shame because I've been working with him uh, quite close uh, in this season and uh, he's very good in his job. He's uh, very, very good in his job and also as a person, I think uh, we had a, a very good connection since the since the beginning and uh, obviously I wish him the best, no? the best uh, for the future. Uh, but uh, also the 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 club has decided to keep Simon that is very close and he knows how we work and I think uh, the transition in this way uh, is going to be smooth because obviously for sure Simon has been learning a lot from, from Richard this year. So. There's been talks about Richard going to other Premier League clubs, clubs in Europe, some big clubs as well. Can you understand why they would be interested in taking him, having worked with him? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, uh, he's very good doing his job, and for sure he will have very good uh, chances in the future. No, but now is his uh, his choice, no, to to decide wherever he wants to go or to decide other things or whatever, whatever he wants to do. I know you've touched upon Simon Francis there. Obviously, he has been at the club whilst you've been here as well, and there's that very close working relationship with Richard Hughes. But Simon's someone who played for the club captained the club, was a part of the success going from the League One to the Championship to the Premier League. How excited are you to work with him, build that relationship and, and what will Simon bring perhaps differently to, to Richard? I think uh, uh, Simon has been also working with us very closely. No, At the end, uh, all the meetings, uh, he has been there, he knows exactly how we want the team to play, what is the profile of the players we we need and I don't think uh, this will change a lot, no? Uh, for sure, Simon will have his uh, own ideas uh, and, and he will be the, the one implementing everything. No, I've, as a coach, I've never been the person who decides the players we sign. I will try to help not only Simon, all the all the scouting staff and uh, to the club to take the 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 best decisions. But it's obviously easier when when we know each other uh, quite well we we know what we need the the profile of the players that we are looking at and uh, this i think will will make everything uh, much easier because also is a person that has been here for a lot of time and he understands the club and everything uh, even much better than me you got your first win in eight premier league games against burnley last week that takes you 11 points clear of the bottom three now are you no longer in a relegation fight? No, no, because uh, with 31 points there is a risk you can go down and normally you go down. So uh, we we need more points not only to avoid the, because we want to, to win more games, we, we want to have uh, more points, we want uh, uh, to finish as high as we can and uh, still there are uh, 12 games to play and uh, a lot of points there. Uh, to try to to take, and this is our role. only focus. No, it's not like it's about to finish the season and we are looking at the opposition and the results. No, still there is a lot to play, so it's too early to start uh, thinking like this. I think. What's the team news for this weekend? Obviously, there's been a lot of doubts over players. Anyone coming back? Anyone not available? Uh, you ask me individually if you want. For sure, I will forget some because. <laughs> Uh, we have some there uh, that uh, we really don't know. Uh, Marcos, that is the one that got injured the other day. Marcos is out. Uh, he will not even travel with the national team, so obviously he will not be part of the team this, these games. He has a strain in the, in the hamstring and, and he will be out. Uh, I don't think we will recover anyone. The only one we can recover is, uh, is Tyler Adams, but not... Uh, He's not still ready, you know. Uh, he played 30 minutes with the development squad. Uh, he's good in, he's doing well the process. He's feeling well. Uh, we could put him on the bench 
because we have the the spaces and and I think uh, for him personally maybe it's a it's a good thing. But he's continuing his his uh, his uh, process and still uh, lacks more 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 training. But he's doing well. And uh, we are not, I don't think, we are recovering anyone from, from the other day, no. And no issues with Dom with regards to his knee, he's OK? No, Dom, uh, this week has been quite similar to past week. He hasn't uh, trained fully with the team. He, we are trying to to put him in the best positions to, to, to play tomorrow. He will train normal this evening and from his feelings we'll take the the decisions like we did the uh, past week. Up next, Sheffield United. We know that they're bottom of the Premier League. They haven't had the greatest season. They're 11 points off safety. They got beat by Arsenal 6-0 in their last outing. Some would say this is their last chance. If they're going to get out of this, if they're going to have an escape, they need to win this weekend. How do you see it and does that make them dangerous? Uh, for sure, they will come here with the intention of winning the game and uh, trying to to increase their chances, no, to to fight until the until the end. No, uh, I think we have to focus more on ourselves. We against a team that has the same points as Sheffield. I think we were not good enough the other day. We won two 0 but I think we we need uh, to improve the performance we had against Burnley if we want to win tomorrow. And that's our main main focus, no? Uh, I'm sure they will come with the intention of starting really strong after the defeat they had the other day. Uh, but we have to be ready for for this, no? And just finally, for me, you've only picked up one point from your last three home Premier League games, and you are the joint worst home scorers this season in the Premier League alongside Sheffield United. You've actually picked up more points away from home for a team that wants to attack play exciting football and be dominant on the ball, why do you think perhaps you just haven't been able to be as expansive and score as many goals at home this season as perhaps you'd like? No, it's a thing that we've uh, that uh, worries me a little bit because we have been, I would say, much better away than we've been at home, no? Uh, uh, Results-wise and also perception-wise, no? And uh, normally it's not like this. Uh, most of the teams, normally we we take the amount, the big amount of the points at home and then you go and away you take and we are doing the, the opposite. It's true that we haven't finished the season. We still have good games at home where we could uh, have some wins and uh, things can look different at the end of the season. But until today, we haven't been as good at home that we've been away. And uh, for sure there are reasons and we have to try to uh, because we don't change, we, our approach is not different when we play at home or we play away. Our tactics are quite uh, the, the same, but uh, we have to, I would say, start uh, even stronger no? when, when we play at home and uh, put the opposition under pressure maybe uh, before. We are probably starting the games better when we are, we are playing away, yes. Thank you. Thank you. You mentioned the fixture list there. You have played all of the big guns here already, but even with that in mind, you're alarmed by what you've seen here, are you? Yeah, it's not alarm. We have in the last game here against City, we were very good. We lost, but I, I finished very, very happy with the performances. And uh, I think it's not that we've changed a lot, but it's true that the results have been better away. So uh, we have to uh, know this and uh, put more, more emphasis, more, more attention, especially at the beginning of the games, because when you score uh, early and you start strong, uh, we can we can also uh, make the opposition think oh, it's going to be a, a tough uh, afternoon and uh, probably we are not starting as strong first minutes as, as, as we are doing away. How, I mean, the second half against City is the, the blueprint, is it? Is that what you want to see every time? Yeah, I, I finished very very happy with all the game against City. Yeah, but also, uh, like I said at the end, no, we played very well and we lost the game. So even if we give our best and we give uh, a high level, you have to be uh, very good in the in the boxes. And, uh, the end is what makes the difference. We played much, much worse against Burnley, but we were better in our finishing and we and you win the game. 
a lot of people will come here tomorrow having watched the, the Arsenal game and think it's an easy home win. I think we've all fallen into that trap in our lives. Do you remember a time when, as a young man, you thought, oh, easy game this weekend, and then the football gods came and <laughs> bit you? I don't think... I think people are very smart. And everyone that comes here tomorrow will think uh, this is a game that uh, they have the same points as Barley. And Barley were doing a lot of the time better than us the other day. So we have to know that we have to improve what we did uh, six days ago because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to win tomorrow. Yes, I, I have no doubt. And I think uh, everyone involved in the, in the football, I think, uh, knows this. Fair enough. As far as Dom and his knee, you said he, last week that he's been managing it. It's been a problem for a while. Is it, is it something that will need just rest over the summer, or is it, you know, is there a chance that it will need more than just rest? I really don't know. I really don't know. I wish I, would, I know the solution, and but uh, he has pain. He has pain. He's. Uh, playing through some pain, sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. We are trying to manage it, especially this, these uh, two games we have, and uh, try to don't uh, put too much training uh, on, on, on him. But uh, it's true that it's, it's uh, in somehow affecting him, and uh, we hope we, he can play. and. and, and, and as many minutes as he can, but it's something that uh, we are we are dealing with, yes. And he's an excellent player, he's a very clever player. Does a lack of training affect his performance? Uh, to, uh, this is something that is, uh, I think, quite common to every player. If you don't train uh, normally, you are not so sharp, so fresh. Uh, you lose a lot of the riding, but it's true that in his case, he has been training, I would say, almost every day during the season. You know, he's someone that has played a lot of minutes, has trained a lot of minutes, and probably is not uh, so. Uh, is not a big problem uh, because uh, he's been, you know, very, very solid, uh, very, very robust during the, the season, and and uh, I think he doesn't need to, to train as much as other players that probably have been up and down and coming and resting and uh, I think he, he still has a, a good level. And just finally with the Tyler Adams, you know, potentially being on the bench, you've, you've talked in the past of his leadership skills. Would that be a benefit to, to have him as part of the squad in the dressing room and so on? Would he get involved even though he's been on the sidelines for so long? Yes, I think uh, he has he has this uh, leadership in, in him. No, even training you you perceive. No, whenever he's losing a drill or whenever uh, he's the first one to, to to complain, to you know, it's good things for the team. I think uh, to have competitive players is always good, especially for the for the for the manager. And I think uh, he will add this. To the team, but we also want him to play and to be ready as soon as possible. He is still not there, but I'm happy that he's progressing well and, and, and I think he's close.